I think there's, there's some level of policy already. If you, if you look at uh, DOSD, the custard of several sectors in photonics and biotechnology and energy. So, so there is some start into that. Uh, but I think the more serious problem that I see uh, from where I am right now is that uh, we, uh, the absorption of the funding that goes into the yeah. College of Science and Engineering in particular, or the university at large. There are few people who mentor PhD students, so we cannot address the supply, the supply side. And we don't have the, the, in, the, the number of people with the right skill set to, to create new knowledge. So you see, we even got more than we can handle. <laughs> Looks like it. So, uh, so how do you understand? Well, I don't know. Yeah, we, we, yeah that, that, that can be done. Uh, well, I don't think there's much problem in, in some units. Eh? Okay. I can see some specific problems in other units, especially in engineering. Because uh, I looked at the, when I was evaluating the centers of excellence and development, I looked at the performance of the engineering units. They're not very productive in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, research. Okay, so if you have a program of uh, increasing uh, enrollment, say you're going to lose 112 PhDs, 500 MS, then you should have faculty members who will sit down in the labs and really think of problems that can be given, which is part of a bigger program, okay, that can be given to students so that students will have something to work on. Okay. Uh, maybe that can be addressed by, uh, maybe that part of it can be addressed by giving them the laboratory that's already being given. I think they have the something like 200,000 peso grant or 400,000 peso grant for each master or PhD student they can get that will go to the laboratory, okay? They, ha they have that money. The thing now is to have all these PhDs sit down in their labs and start thinking of problems to give to their students and maybe the way to do that is make it worthwhile for these PhDs to sit down in their labs, okay, and think of problems for their students related to their overall project, overall program, instead of them going elsewhere for their livelihood. Because that may also be a situation here. Okay? Especially in engineering, they are, they are very marketable. Okay? So maybe you could uh, just uh, induce them to stay put by giving them, uh, well, sufficient funds for them to be able to live on and not anymore go out and do consulting. Yes, uh, All right, one last. <laughs> all right. Um, Roger Posadas, Technology Management Center. The, uh, the, the, on the question of how to sustain the support, I think that can be uh, addressed through industrial policy because it's industrial policy that create the demand and uh, once the demand is there then the, the government will be forced to address the supply of uh, scientists and engineers. That's what Korea did. Um, like uh, they decided to go into shipbuilding uh, without any uh, experience. In, in fact, uh, Park Chung-hee forced the, uh, uh, the chairman of Hyundai to go into shipbuilding, um, and uh, they, they planned their um, manpower development over a time frame of 15 years. That, that's how f how far into the future they they uh, did their planning, and then they created institutes that would uh, address the research needs. In cases where the, the university did not respond, like Seoul National University in the beginning was not responding in terms of engineering manpower and research, uh, Park Chung Hee decided to create the KAIST, Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, uh, a new kind of uh, engineering school uh, that was more uh, in line with uh, 
uh, first world uh, engineering schools. So I'm, I agree that it's industrial policy that, that uh, can sustain the development of science and technology in the country. But um, I want to point out that what separates the Philippines from other countries that were able to industrialize is uh, a catch-up mentality among the leaders. Um, unlike in the Philippines, our policy has always been import-oriented. Like in the case of uh, medicines, cheaper, the cheap, cheaper medicines bill. Uh, again, instead of using the problem of high prices of medicine to create our own pharmaceutical industry, to, to build up our own capability for, for pharmaceutical uh, production, we are again looking to importing drugs from other countries, making us import dependent again. So it's a different mindset. Yeah, so how do you change that mindset? I really don't know how to change that mindset. It's been around for, for, for some time. The only thing I know is what we can do here. Okay, and what we can do, I guess, is focus on a problem, a small problem first. Okay, have a good experience there so that the experience can be used as a takeoff point in doing other things. Uh, a big solving the mindset right away of uh, the politicians is, I think, something that... Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, and do the same mistakes again, so all over again. All right. Thank you very, very much. And much as we want to move on and on, we have to thank the good doctor for his time this afternoon. And thank you to all the moderators at the various campuses. On behalf of the Centennial Lecture Series Committee, we thank our lecturer for his insightful eye-openers shared with us this afternoon. We would also like to thank the audience here, as well as those in the regional campuses. Thank you for, ho uh, for joining us today. And we hope to see you again in our final lecture to be held on December 5, Tuesday, 2 p.m. at the Abelardo Hall, Auditorium College of Music, UP Diliman. Our lecturer will be Professor Emeritus Ramon P. Santos. His lecture is titled, UP and the Cultivate Filipino, In Search of Spirit and Self in a Culture of Humanism and Aesthetic Judgment. His lecture will be followed by the premier performance of UP Dangal ng Karunungan, Dangal ng Bayan, Awit Ritual at 5 in the afternoon at the Camerata College of Music Annex. Kindly rise for the UP Naming Mahal.
ปูปูกายจะอยู่นี่เป็นสิดาดนางามิงบูหายอีกเอาปารีนาปีนาบริกาลที่ปารีนไม่รีบูตาดอีกเอาวังยูปีนามิงมหายสลามัดสายยงมังอากุโรมาสายนิยมปักตุตุโรตั้งไรนิวอาการุสายาตั้งไรนิวอาการุนุงานอินุบุกนิวคามีสักาบุติฮานสันบะอาทวันนัตโยลากิกาปารีสาอามิปุสุ Kaya't kami sumasaludo. Yupi ang galing mo. Yupi ang galing mo. Wala nang iba pang may hambi. Say sayan, tumaloy sa pagulat ng ating bayan. 